Okay, so a common question I've been getting, especially recently, is what's going on with Evo Creo 2? And furthermore, has it been delayed, cancelled, or worse? Now, while I don't have all of the answers, today I am going to be going over exactly what we know about this upcoming sequel to the mobile title bearing the same name, and then sort of ask some questions of our own. So as per the usual, sit back, relax, subscribe for more monster taming videos, and let's dive into the latest Evo Creo information. Alright, so for those that don't already know, Evo Creo was a pretty successful mobile game for Android and iOS that essentially acts as a Pokemon-esque RPG with a focus on monster customization. That said, today's video is not meant to be an entire breakdown of the original, so let's talk about the long-awaited sequel. Originally, as far as I can go back, the planned release date for Evo Creo 2 was sometime in 2021. However, according to the development team, there were some complications due to the pandemic that led to a delay, citing a 2022 launch. The game was then again delayed to 2023 with an actual launch window, then was again delayed until later in 2023 before we finally received the April 2024 launch window with the alpha taking place in February, the beta taking place in March, and the full release being in April. Now with every one of these delays, it's pretty much been radio silence from the developers until the timing point in question is passed, at which point we'll get a small update that sort of tells us, okay, the game's not coming out at this time, sorry. And I'm personally not a big fan of this. I do wish they would be a little more upfront when a delay is coming, especially because they're supposed to be having an alpha and beta phase, which as far as I know, neither of which have taken place, at least definitely not beta. So given the fact that we're now at the end of April, that lends me to assume that they have to know right now that the game won't be launching in the next few days. So why wait until the end of the month or potentially even mid-May or whatever to say, oh, by the way, game's delayed again. That being said, they didn't accept any crowdfunding, so they're honestly free to do whatever they want. But from a PR standpoint, I've definitely seen a lot of people not happy about the constant delays. And while I'm totally part of the take your time and make a good game camp, it does get to the point where I just want to say, like, stop giving us release windows until you're 100% sure and just leave it at tbd because it's kind of a tease now all that being said there is a chance that i'm wrong and i somehow missed beta testing and the game's coming out with next to no marketing and if that's the case so be it but as of right now this is the last statement we received from the developers at the end of january basically in it they showed off a region map and said they'll have some beta news soon which has not yet come remember beta was slated for march and the game has to release after the beta so that's why i think it's pretty inevitable that we're going to see a delay again another thing of note is that we have not received a single Evo Creo 2 trailer or gameplay showcase outside of a couple screenshots here and there, which could be an indication of the game being in an early state. However, it is also important to note on the flip side that there's only like one Evo Creo 1 trailer, so it might just be the fact that they will only release a trailer when the game actually launches. That just might be the type of studio they are. That being said, guys, that's pretty much all we know right now. I didn't even want to make a video about this, but I keep getting a lot of comments asking where the game is, and in reality, I don't really know. No. Will it get delayed? Probably. Will it get delayed till later this year? Maybe. Will it get delayed till 2025? How ready is this game? We unfortunately don't have the answers to these questions, but I will keep you guys up to date on any news we do get, so make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you get notified for that. Other than that, guys, as usual, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.